Hey everyone, so a lot of people out there want to know all about you know how I get leaner, what I do exactly, and I have made videos like this in the past, but I'm just going to make a quick one just to recap it all. My number one tip is jogging. You know, I really, really love jogging. So I've been jogging consistently for the last two years, every second day. No excuses, I'm out there, rain, hail or shine. So jogging is really, really important. You know, if you want to like... <sighs> I've got some hair on my mouth. That was really weird. I'm just going to try and <laughs> talk through it. Anyway, jogging. Jogging is excellent. But I notice a lot of people go out there and they're like a weekend warrior. They'll get out there and they'll hurt themselves. You know, they'll go for a run and they'll really push themselves more than their body is conditioned to handle. So I recommend that you do it. Ease into it, you know, like just do a run walk until you get to the point where you can run for say a kilometer without stopping. That is the way to do it. Okay, so running consistently. You don't have to do it every day. I don't do it every day. Do it every second day, you know. And the days I don't do it, I'm sitting around most of the time. Next best tip is carb up. Make sure you get enough carbohydrates so you want to exercise. If you don't have enough carbs, then you're not going to want to exercise, you're not going to burn calories, you're not going to get leaner. You're just going to become a slob, just slobbing around, not doing any exercise and feeling sorry for yourself. So carb up. If it's fruit, that is best. You know, I've experimented with the cooked food in the past and fruit is always, I always come back to fruit. It's always the best. If you want to get leaner, if you want to feel better, be healthier, all of those things, fruit is the best. The next one is B12 shots. You know, if you're B12 deficient, if your B12 is low, then you're not going to burn fat efficiently. You know, check it out. It's a fact. Keep your B12 levels topped up. I do that by taking shots. And then your body is going to be more efficiently burning fat. Also, the last ones are definitely water. If your cells aren't hydrated, then they're not going to function properly and you're not going to lose the weight. The weight is just going to hang around. It's going to be toxins are going to be floating around in your body because your body holds on to water when it's dehydrated. You want your body to be flushing out all the toxins and the fat rather than hanging on to it. So hydration is key. And sleep. Sleep, definitely. You know, after you do training and everything, you want to recover. You want your body to have some rest so it can, again, function optimally. Next tip is to be patient, okay? You know, it doesn't happen overnight. If you look at my old photos, my before photos, I was at least 20 kilos heavier than this. And when I first started a high-carb vegan lifestyle, I was still heavy. You know, I was heavy for, God, at least the first year and a half. Quit the whinging and be patient, get the carbs in, focus on getting healthier, getting fitter, you know, go and running races, that's another tip, running races are awesome. Yeah, you know, once a week has really transformed my body a lot. So they're my tips. This is my room. Don't you just love the room? I think it's pretty nice. So look at the cupboard, really messy. This is where I sleep. And that is my little peace lily. And that's absolutely nice. If you thought this video was pretty cool, then don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of them. All right, see you.